All right. Regardless, this looked interesting, so we're playing it. There was a time when the land knew magic in its bones, when man knew of nature, not machines. The old ways were respected then, and witches revered. A better world? Perhaps. But time moves on, and if we do not move with it, the age of witchcraft will be lost to us forever. I feel the approach of one who may prove ready for such challenges, who can embrace our past and unlock our future. One who has known hardship and pain. She has traveled far, yet the path ahead of her will prove greater than she has ever known. Our downfall or our salvation? Only time will tell. Reka was presented to me as a part of Next Fest. Gotcha. Thanks for playing the demo. Today we want to show you the prologue map of Reka. Please note that leaving the map will end the demo. We can't wait to show you more when uh, we release into early access very soon. I think what like um, something that more games should try to do for Next Fest for demos is like trying to do I can't remember there's like a term for developers it's like a vertical slice or something like that where like you get a even if the game is like further along in development like you need to make a try to make a demo that's like just tw a 20 minute or 30 minute segment of your of your game and then like if you want players to open up to more then I think that that works well cuz like ha like the, the, then that's fine but like making something that's more bite sized is just going to be better especially for more complicated games because like it's just sometimes people just don't have the fucking time um anyway whatever so like I'm I'm totally fine with them not having like a very long demo as long as it gets the point across. I know sometimes it can be difficult to get the point across, but I'm not gonna mess around with any customization here. We're just gonna go. Guess, uh, turn the mouse control uh, sensitivity down. I prefer a diagonal slice. It was cool when the head slid off of the body in Underworld. <laughs> Is that Anna from Frozen? Could be. Actually produce a demo rather than here's everything we've got so far. Yeah. Let's do it. Hey, have you seen the wheel around here? Damn thing fall off. Surely workmanship. I don't know what happened. It just got up and walked off on its own. You wouldn't mind taking a look for it, would he? There's no way that I'm going to be able to find it. Can't imagine where that wheel could have gone. Wait, where are you going? You think you see the wheel? Oh, weird. I didn't think to look in front of me. I only ever thought to look to the side and back. Oh, you found it! Thank you. Wouldn't have much gotten much further without it. Hey, you look familiar. Now don't say it. It'll come to me. Hold on one second. Mocking squeaks and grunts. Getting old. 
How dare you, Felix? I never forget a face, but occasionally I misplace them. Feel is that his, is that the donkey? Is he talking to the donkey? Uh, you're right. They do look like they've been through some trouble. Is this this is this the donkey? <laughs> That's what donkeys sound like. They sound like Scooby Doo. I know you like trouble as much as the next Zildini. But it's rude to pry. What? Sorry about my uh, business associate. He gets overexcited sometimes. Really must throw him down a well one of these days. Maybe he's talking to the wheel. Threatening grunts. Is there somebody in the, the, the caravan? Yeah, yeah, not in that bottle you won't. Oh, he's talking to somebody in a bottle? Look, I'm going to be staying around these parts for a while. You need anything, you come see me. I'll give you a good price on my ways. Outraged squeaking. Okay, okay. Oh, Wes. Right, better get this cart fixed. You mind your business now. Okay, okay. Okay, let me back away from you, please. Thank you. Where is this? Oh, it's in this bottle. It's like, oh my god, what is that little thing? Is that like a little mini werewolf thing or something? It looks like a little wolf. But it's got like red eyes. Oh, it's like a, yeah, it's like a little, little, it's a rat? That's not a rat! What the hell are you talking about? That's what it sounds like, now that I know what it looks like. I think that the, <laughs> like, honestly, the creature inside of here looks kind of cool. These donkeys, <laughs> these donkeys. These donkeys are looking pretty rough. These donkeys look like they were, uh, animated. Animated like dolls or something. Yeah, don't mind my animated doll donkeys. Actually, yeah, he's just, uh, you know, they's cheaper than real donkeys. Them's what clouds look like, you know, in case you were wondering. Jack Samir. I'm back. Is Reika a good game? I don't know yet. We only just started playing. Ice? Who? Is this Is this person behind the fence that we're talking to? I, don't, I can't see what... I spy a young traveler. You look strong and capable, looking for work. We've got plenty around here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Welcome, welcome. But you don't have any work for me? But, okay. My dear friend set out so many months ago to explore the nearby lands. He's not returned, and there has been no word from him since. I hope he's not forgotten us. Okay. Reika's big zoomer energy. <laughs> like just her as a character? I received an old dresser. What? And 35 gold. Ah! 
from a well. Right. So you can store all your dresses. Okay, great. Yeah, fit in that bucket. It's what it was. I never realized how heavy pumpkins were until I was the only one left to bring in the harvest. Can you spare the time to help me? If you could carry the pumpkins into the barn, my back would be so grateful. All right. I got I got it. There you go. He's got your pumpkins. Pumpkin in the barn, 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 pumpkin in the barn. Put pumpkins in the dresser? The clothes go in the dresser, not pumpkins. Pumpkin in the barn. B -b Pumpkin in the barn. Pumpkin in the barn. Well, I hope that you wanted the orange pumpkins and the white pumpkin. I don't even know if those are pumpkins. Maybe those are some other gourd adjacent type vegetable or fruit. Kind of, kind of hard to pick those up, honestly. I don't know. I got, I got them. I think. Thank you so much for your help. Here, this is for you. It's one of my best. Ah, there's still so many pumpkins left. One pumpkin, three. You know, I could have just taken all those pumpkins. Anybody want this goat? Anybody want this kid? I got it. Oh my, you're too kind. Here, take this for your efforts. What? Did you even... What? Did you wanted that? You didn't ask me for it. Bill, you're kidnapping a kid. Yeah, I know. I gave it back, though. I, they paid the ransom. See those birds? Shifty-looking things. Beady eyes. I could swear they're following me. I can't scare them off. It's probably because you have branches in your hat. Or maybe those are just growing out of your head. They must belong to that old crone in the woods. She's pretty shifty too. If you help me, I'll make it worth your while. Help you what? You want me to get rid of the burbs? I'm gonna go talk to the lady in the woods. We. Oh wait, is this just still? You're amazing. There's still a few left. Could you just nudge them into the barn? Just nudge them. It's like it's like you know. That they're probably basically in the barn. I'm beginning to think that we're supposed to murder the town. Well, we don't know that yet. Look at that. All the pumpkins are safe and sound. I'm so grateful. This is for you. I hope you have some use for it. Table of the pumpkin lady. Oh, look at me, chat. I've got the table of the pumpkin lady. Hi, dee dee. I've got the table of the pumpkin lady. What the fuck was it? What was in there? What? Did 
Did I just let out ghosts? Creepy people out in the woods. I'm looking for creepy people out in the woods. Hello? Those were load bearing chests, Billy. Oh, sorry. What's this I smell? Someone dares approach my door. Huh. A child. Hmm. Of course. Don't you know it's rude to be late, child? I've been waiting for you for quite some time. Hmm, perhaps you too have been waiting for me. Either way, child, we meet at a crossroads. Where we go from here, only time will tell. All right. Hello there. That doesn't look like her face. That looks like a diff that looks like a different face. Well, look at you, weak and alone in the world, like a newborn kitten you stumble forth into my garden. Tell me, little kitten, what brings you here? No answer for me? That's fair, that's fair. We hardly know each other. That perhaps we always have. Another life, another lives. It's all the same to me. But enough of this idle chatter. There is work to be done. There is always work to be done. My shelves are empty and my belly grumbles like a kushke wife. Hot water and herbs do not make a meal. Do not a meal make. Bring me some ingredients to make a tasty soup. You find a recipe in the book on the bench. Oh, looks like you need fattening up too, kitten. You may borrow my birds, but know that they are more precious to me than any other creature that breathes upon this earth. And you, my children of wing and claw, we see that this kitten grows, knows her herbs from her weeds. And if she tries to run, well, you know what to do. Go to the bench and take the book. Oh, what bench? This bench? I got a journal. In your journal, go to the quests. See what the old lady wants. Collect 10 mushrooms. And collect 6 honeycombs. Alright. Consult the journal if you're lost. Now press tab to close the journal. Okay, got it. Oh, and one more thing. A challenge, perhaps. Certainly more challenging than finding me some simple mushrooms. The little kid's stolen my magical talisman. Again. Look here, spirits, very excitable spirits, especially when you have a pocket full of berries. You will find those wretched blocks of wood deeper in the forest. Find them, retrieve what they stole. Once you have the talisman, you can use its power to come back to your most lift swiftly. But if you return without it, my next soup will be a little meatier. Now go, stumble on, little kitten. Okay, you've been told about a location. Find it with your compass at the top of the screen. Okay.
I watched Resorty play this demo. I hope Billy finishes it. Okay. Depends on how long it is. Grab mushrooms. Got it. I like that you just like gather shit by collecting it. Witches don't fuck around. What the fuck is what is that? What are those? Are those the grumpkins or whatever? What are the fuck are these? So you are the lit key. Oh, it seems like one of you got stuck under some planks. These are the look key. Found the old witch's talisman. Hold H to teleport back to it at any time. House. Come in, come in. What are you waiting for? <clears throat> Tell me, little kitten, do you have a name? Reka. Hmm, I see. Yes, Reka, of course it is. Do you know what your, that your name means, river? Rivers are important, vital. The arteries of the world, they bring life. Perhaps you do too. Well, did you get all the ingredients? Good, we'll need them for the ritual. The soup ritual? Right, the soup ritual. Oh, did I say soup? My mistake. So easy to get the two mixed up in, mind, in a mind that has lived as long as mine. Go, what are you like, 40? Folks think that witchcraft is mainly about rituals. It's actually a lot more about soup. Never underestimate the power of a full belly. Now then, River Kitten, let's continue. The ritual calls for a few more items. We've already have the mushrooms and the honey that you collected. We'll also need a sturdy length of pine. You don't have one on you, do you? No, so many folks really have no idea what's important in life. So many uses for a nice pine branch. In front of my hut, there's a small island, and it stands a giant crooked pine. Snap off a branch and return it to me. Oh, and on your return, acquaint yourselves with the chickens. Chickens are important. Many think the chickens to be dumb birds. Not a bit of it. They're just playing dumb. Minds as sharp as their beaks. Get the pine branch. Select a chicken you like and like the look of, and bring them both to me. I'll wait for you behind the hut and begin the preparations. Soon, soon it will be time. Soon you will rise again. Okay. All right. I got a branch. I gotta pick a chicken. I got chicken. I got a chimkin. Chickens are playing dumb is a new one, yeah. You have graced us with your presence. Now follow me. Uh. I, I might have sequence broken. Ma'am. 
Ma'am. Hang on. I got to Just hang on. I, I'll, be, I'll be right there. Just hold on a second. I got to go around. How the fuck do I get through? Is there... Okay, there's a door out the back. I didn't notice. Sorry. But I'm on the way. This is the place where we fell all those years ago. Those who would not listen and those who would not be heard. And we fell, as we all do. But my friend, my love, my child did not get back up. I searched for answers far and wide. Eventually I returned here, cast my mind wide, sent out a calling and waited. Waiting for the right kind of mind to answer. One that understood pain, understood loss. Now we must no longer delay. Take that chicken over to the old oven. Don't be so concerned. It'll be fine. I'm sure it'll make itself at home in that nest. Besides, it's about to ascend to heights that birds rarely reach. I gotta bring, gotta bring the chimkin. Here you go. Get in there. Look at that. Look at that chimkin. I did it. It's it's in, it's in there. Do you have the branch I told you to find? Good. While I start the sigil, you need to cleanse the space. Hold your branch to the candle's flame until it ignites, then sweep its powerful incense through the air. Okay. I got, I got. That's it, good. Follow me to the next one. Bye, Trimkin. Goodbye. Doing it. Yes, yes, very good. Quickly on to the next. What? What the? I can't do that. The final one. Oh wait, this is a gigantic bone. This is like a big ass creature. This is like, are we bringing this thing back from the dead or something? What, is this, is this a giant chimkin? You can follow clear instructions, that's promising. In my hut by the front door, there's a shrine to my ancestors. One of them saw fit to leave me an egg. We'll need it for the ritual. It's not like a chicken's egg at all, River Kitten. Foolish talk! Although it will hatch something, if all goes to plan. It has sat dormant for many years, but hopefully it can still provide us with what we need. Bring it to me. Oh, and pick up some grain from my garden on your way. We'll need that for later. Okay. Is it ancient Billy Hand? No! No! Got it. And some grain. Where's the grain at? Some of this. I have magical abilities. I forgot. I forgot that I'm magic. That 
What's it good? Isn't it a thing of wonder? Shall you just wait. Now put it in the oven. Okay. The oven with the chimkin? Yes, the oven with the chimkin. Almost there. It is time for us to make the offerings. We will honor many gods in this ritual. Perhaps you will learn more of them in time. If you prove yourself. From now, for now, we must honor the goddess of fertility. I have placed bowls on all four sides of the bones. I'll start with this one. You go to the bowl at the back, River Kitten, and place some honeycomb within it. Honeycomb. Okay. Bowl in the back. Very good. Now we shall both walk clockwise around the house to the next bowl. And then when I tell you to, place some grain in the bowl. You have the grain, yes? Into the bowl with it. We're gonna go clockwise. Clockwise the bowl. Yes. It's working. Wait, it's working? The river kitten is capable. Hmm. Come to me. We are not finished. Quickly now. Okay. Take this. Be very careful with it. It's a charm blessed by the god of fire. A powerful, dangerous object in the wrong hands. Hush now. Stop looking at your hands. They are the right ones. At least for now. Wait, what? Using this charm, I need you to dissolve the bones surrounding the site. Each and every last one, we need to harness their essence. Go. I need to focus on the next step. Do not disappoint me. I cannot be disappointed again. Oh, and be respectful. The one you dissolved meant more to me than you will ever know. Okay. All right, whatever. Yes, keep going. I'm going. I'm got the bones. doing it now that's some real bone juice just a little more the hag knows about Billy's hands impressive god damn it give me back that charm you're far too inexperienced to hold such power longer than necessary how did it feel to wield the power of Svarug tingles doesn't it like a nettle sting in the inside of your skin hmm, don't grow too big for your boots we're not done yet go back to my house and bring me the embers from the oven the ritual requires that you carry them red hot in your bare hands don't look at me like that. Carrying embers should not prove prob a problem with one who has wielded Svarag's power. Now get to it, quickly. Okay. I'm going. All those bones were hollow. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, uh, oh, uh, fuck. Oh. Uh. Get birds. You're a brave one, River Kitten. I hope it lasts. Give the embers to me. There's one last thing I need from you. Come closer. Okay. Yeah, don't look like that. It's only a small prick. Just a drop of blood. You won't miss it. It's going good. Chimera, how are you doing today? Blood is key. Blood is the bond. 
Let's see how the embers absorb it. The living embers, they have burned bright for generations. Fire passed from home to home. Their age dwarfs even mine. The living embers gave life to my, lo my love a long time ago. And new life they shall give today. This last part I must do alone. You did well, my little river kitten. Let's hope it was not the last time. But for now, watch and learn. Okay. Hey, what is it? Are you make? Are we making chimkin soup? We got. You want me to get some herbs? Absolutely nothing bad's about to happen. Nope. It's a chumpkin! That's a big chumpkin! For I am the beginning and the end, I cannot be unmade, I cannot be undone, I persist. The world shall remember Baba Yaga, I shall remember and tremble before the mother of witches. Ooh, now that, that was exhausting. Quite took the wind out of me, it did. Now sit down. Oh, swamp rats, it's not responding. Can't fix my mind. I can't control it, River Kitten. Tell it to sit down. Okay. Hut hut. Sit down. Oh my god! Oh, Jesus! This is sad. sad. It's, it's too far down. You did well, little river kitten. You did not disappoint, at least not yet. There's potential in you. You have a quick mind. You see beyond what, other, what others do. You're a natural witch, perhaps even born to it. You can do what you did. Few can do fetch quests like you have done. You're a true gopher. The basis of any witch. Look around you. Look what you've created. This will be our house, our home. But I will allow you to build it yourself, furnish it, decorate it, make it just how you imagine. Embrace the light or the darkness, the grand or the humble. We live in it and travel the lands within its walls. I will take the largest room. Baba Yaga needs a space. And it is more than a fair price for what I can teach you if you are willing to learn. If you are, take this wood and begin to build... A future. Baba Yaga gave me wood. I never thought I'd say that. <laughs> Stand on top of the wooden platform and press B to open the build mode. Let me just look at her. Yeah. I thought she said take this wood and build a furniture. I think she might have said that. I just probably misread it as future because it kind of like made more sense. Hover above any of your place, house parts, and press C to store it away. All right, we're doing it.
Okay. Okay, got it. Good. Go ahead and place my chair now. Time does not rest, but I need to. Okay. Sorry. God damn, what do you want me to do? Okay, rotate it. Are you happy now? There, it's in a corner. Are you happy? That's where you sit, in a corner. Can you magic up some better internet pipes for me, Billy? I don't think I can do that. We can. I can make you a giant chimkin. Okay, can we be done building now? I will give you one more chair. This one is for you, an ancient one. This chair will allow you to speak to the hut directly, for you will be steering us in this quest up the river. Place, to, uh, place the chair and talk to it. Steer the hut through the forest, where the fog is at its deepest to leave this part of the world. Now, if you know that we may never return... Now, if you do that, we may never return here, so better make sure to explore some more. Some interesting locations in this forest for you to find still. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. Nobody puts Baba Yaga in a corner. I love this chair. The Chimkin chair. <laughs> Alright, this is where I sit. The chicken legged hut. Stand up, hut! Oh my god! Hut, hut, go where I say. <laughs> Normally walking with your chicken legged cottage in the fog will allow you to travel to the next map of this demo. It will end the demo, so only go there if you're finished. Alright, all right, I'm out of here. I'm out of here later, nerds. Let's go stomp some villagers. Best you leave our house and the village outskirts. Pitchfork, pitchfork wielding mobs can be such a bore to deal with. Go by foot if you must. Okay, I'm fine. I'm gonna just go stomp a few people. Thanks for playing the demo. All right. That's not too bad. It's obviously very early access. I am curious to see what ends up uh, coming of the game, though. This definitely seems like a game that's going to like take a long time to finish developing. It did the things the demos do, though. Yeah, it's true. It let us know that like we're going to be doing traveling with Baba Yaga. We're going to be doing magical spells. We're going to be uh, crafting a uh, doing doing giant chimkin customization building. 
That was a demo. Demo length and everything. Yeah. Uh, okay. So this must be an, uh, an early access release that they have planned in August. Yeah. So it's obviously like a, a long ways away, I feel like, but uh, okay. So uh, let's see. It's like it's like an exploration. So like an op open world, open world exploration, which game? Um, find crafting ingredients, customize. Your giant walking chicken house. Um, probably other witch things. <clears throat> like so. So the thing is, is like just running around doing fetch quests isn't isn't particularly exceptional. Um, I, I think that like, like this, this game obviously has some like pretty grand ideas and it's like, that's, it's pretty cool. Like summoning a giant creature like that. It would be interesting if there's more, um, like large scale spells and stuff like that. I, I like the idea of like learning to become a witch from this famous witch and it seems like it could be pretty cool. Um, Uh, demo gets some good ideas across, but is very early in development. So I would say that this right now is... Um, like a three or a two because like it's just it's there's not there's not a lot there right now um but i am curious to see where it goes i'll put that note in there curious to see where it goes so i i'm kind of leaning a bit more like two -y. there's some interesting ideas and it seems like it could like it has like a pretty interesting kind of scale of magic that i don't know that i've it like kind of feels a little shadow of the Colossus in terms of like, you know, like monster scale potentially. So it's interesting to be interesting if you interact with more large scale things in like that or something. Um, maybe. Uh, de definitely it's worth checking out. Uh, if it, do you like 4X games at all? I, just, what, what are you, what are you trying to recommend? Just put it in the Discord, old man. Um, so do I recommend the game? I mean, sure. Like you could definitely, it's definitely worth checking out. I think it's definitely pretty interesting. If it's a part of Next Fest and it's on, uh, like, just put it in the post in the in the Next Fest recommendations Discord, and if I can get to it, I will. Do you like lactose? Do you like ladies? Well, yeah. Have I got a milk girl game for you? I, 
uh, maybe this is really more of a three. I don't, I'm not sure. There's some really interesting stuff here. Obviously, it's like it's like very rough around the edges, but uh, I, I don't know. <laughs>